India, the abode of over 1.25 billion people, a civilization that has propagated love, non-violence and harmony to the entire world. Bihar is a key state of India and its capital, Patna, a prominent historical city. Bihar Netrahin Parishad houses these brave daughters of the land where they are not only encouraged to dream of a golden future awaiting them but are also equipped to realize their dreams and turn them into a reality. The chairperson of the Bihar Netrahin Parishad who is also one of India's most illustrious orthopedician Padmashri Dr. Rabindra Narayan Singh recounts that the association was established in 1981 by five visually impaired persons who wanted to integrate the visually impaired people of the city into the mainstream society. Under the ages of the association, a school for blind girls named Antajyoti Balika Vidyale was incepted with 27 girls. Today, the school caters to the academic needs of 110 girls out of which as many as 85 girls avail of the hostel facility as well. All expenses for their education, boarding, lodging, etc. are borne by the association. New and more structured classrooms have been created for students and with the induction of new trained female teachers, the school has also been granted affiliation to the Bihar School Examination Board. This has enabled the students to appear for their class 10 examination from the school itself. Facilitating the dream of these girls, the school also lays ample emphasis on the training of music and dance so that the girls can opt for a career in these as well. Girls are given training in Judo and Karate for self-defense. Other than that, computer education, neat and clean bedroom, a small temple for worshipping, vehicles for their transportation and a large dining hall have also been made available to the girls to ensure a comfortable and home-like environment. Kushbu Kumari, the daughter of Shiv Chandra Singh, a resident of Girdhar Varao village in Navanagar block of Baksar district recollects हम तीन बहन हैं और हम तीनों बहनें नेत्रहीन हैं बक्सर जिला प्रखंड नगर के गिरधर बनाव के रहने वाले हैं हमारे पापा और हमारे गांव वालों का यह मतलब कि सोच था कि हम लोग कभी पढ़ नहीं सकते हैं जब मेरा एडमिशन हुआ हम पढ़ने लगे तब जब हम घर पे जाते हैं तो मेरे पापा बहुत मेरा सम्मान करते हैं और मेरा तो विश्वास है ये है कि हम पढ़कर जरूर कुछ करेंगे लेकिन साथ साथ मेरे पापा का बहुत विश्वास है और गांव में भी मतलब मेरा सम्मान बहुत होता है और ये सारा श्रेय मेरे स्कूल को जाता है द स्टोरी ऑफ रजनी कुमारी अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ दाऊद नगर इन औरंगाबाद ऑफ बिहार एंड अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ अंत ज्योति बालिका विद्यालय इज क्वाइट शॉकिंग शी डाइवर्जेस मेरी आँख की रोशनी नहीं थी तो मेरे घर के आसपास के लोग घर के लोग मुझे ताना देते थे हाथ पैर बांधकर मुझे नदी नदी में फेंकने के लिए कोशिश कर रहे थे अब मैं स्कूल में रहकर पढ़ाई करती हूँ और अपने जीवन में जीना चाहती हूँ और अपने जीवन में ही कुछ करना चाहती हूँ वर्षा कुमारी द ड�र ऑफ अनिल कुमार गुप्ता a businessman of Patna city is also a student of Antajyoti Balika Vidyala. She was recently invited to deliver a lecture by a reputed organization of the USA, which has really enthused and excited her. I am Varsha, who is in Antajyoti Vidyala school. My school is की द्वारा मैं अब अमेरिका जाने वाली हूँ अमेरिका के एन ने मुझे आमंत्रित किया है जिसका श्रेय मेरे स्कूल वालों को जाता है देर आर मेनी नेम्स लाइक प्रांजल पाटिल ऑफ महाराष्ट्र 
Benjo Fine from Tamil Nadu, Rajesh Singh from Patna, and Ajit Kumar Yadav from Madhya Pradesh, who did not allow blindness to come in the way of their ambition and cleared their civil services examination. These examples indicate that nothing is impossible. In 2016, the Ministry of Human Resources Development of India felicitated the talented girls of our school with a cash amount of Rs. 75,000 and the Kala Utsav Samman. Antajyoti Balika Vidyalaya and I'm working with these girls for the last 15 years and uh, there are a lot to be done for these small kids to make them, to bring them into the mainstream of society. And they have got to study, they have got to do extracurricular activities, they have got to do some handicrafts and also self-protection, self-dependent and they have to be most important is that they must have some dream in their life to be successful in their career. We have been working, I am not the only person working with this particular mission, but uh, my friend uh, Mrs. Anita Punj, who lives in the US, is very, very, very helpful to us and she has been working hard for the development of this institution. Now, since 1993, I am working in this institution and with the last few years when I am the president of this institution, I find that Amita Punj has been helping us so much that we are now going to get every possible things that we think in our institution. But it's not enough. And I appeal to everybody who feel that these type of children need help. I think they all should come forward to help for this school development and get the dreams of these children true in the near future. For the past many years, Sohani Foundation of the USA has been supporting our organization financially and the credit for this goes to Anita Punj. Other than that, she facilitates the sale of handicrafts like friendship bands, jute water bags, etc. in the USA. Well, the various governments around the world, including in India, are taking steps to ensure the security and education of our daughters. But it would only be possible to mainstream our girls, more notably visually impaired girls, when a multitude of people like Anita Punch and Dr. Rabindra will join hands to make it a reality.